because I can't do it on him, man. But for God's sake, don't come up and make your turn till your grip's good. Because like shit. I can't throw him like that. I'm not Colgan. I can't. I'm not in a way, I just can't. I've got to get the grip I need to throw him. So don't think, yeah, I'll do it. Shit. Tell you now, it's going to be right on your grip. Get it right on. Remember them rules, the grip's got to be sufficient to mess his physiology up, to do a move on it. Follow them rules as you go to Kano and Gracie's. It has to fit that rule set, otherwise it's just cat. It's just cat, lovely key, but it don't fit that cat, it's no good. So remember now we're doing this, and then we'll see why we use the Kimura grip after it. There's the, pos there's the position. I enter the move, and I need that. I need this grip. Because against the unit, anything else won't be enough. It won't work. I need his arm to be feel, to actually feel like I'm doing a standard Udig around me on him. Figure four. He needs to feel like that. Which is why he pops it off my head. You understand? So he needs to feel this happen. And he's not going to feel that there. He's only going to feel that. And you feel that? You have to take it off because it's doing that. Everybody follow that part. Make sure you grip. And as with more and more, you're going to start to feel it. So even if you're not understanding what you're seeing, you'll do it and feel it. Okay? Because we'll repeat it enough so that you get this part because it'll open all the doors up to what you want to do. But, well, there we go. I've got to get up. I lift it up. That's hard for it to stop, but the fight's going to start as soon as I get start coming up. So I've got to keep advancing my gripping to keep this occurring. While he's trying to advance his gripping, fuck it off, right? So look, there and there, there's the turn, but I've used my turn up now, I can't turn anymore. But then I'm not laying on floor, it hurts me I'm not laying on floor, I'm turning into him, bang, like that. If he's turning on your head, like that, lift your head up. I just want to see his hand, so I can lick it. Ooh, I can lick his watch. <laughs> Once you're like that, I'm, little, I'm on him there with pressure. Whack that in place, because if I stay here, I've got no more turn left. So if he does that move, we've just practiced, he'll get out. We wing it round, like, go on. Yeah, look at that, fuck. I'm looking at some younger units in here, I think you better what the arm like on, I know you probably skip to and put your leg on, and it's like, phew. All because I didn't advance what I was doing, I've got to keep going. I've got to increase that thing we're trying to do, which is turn on his side. Once I've used that up, I now use the Kimura grip you dig around me because this is so fantastic, it can stop him turning back. So I get that, and as I land opposite his head, if he turns either way, I want him to be rolling onto his knees. Let's look at why, okay? Because if I did miss him here, and he rolled to his knees, it's not the end of the world, is it? Well, go on. It's not the end of the world. You can see that. Even if you're not a gear man, you can see your strangles, and if you're out of age, you just stand up and just flop. God bless him. Yeah. Football. A big football. Once I make that grip, now come and understand what's happening here, because this will be done immediately. Come really close. Because it all changes now. I want you to understand what's going on. Anybody worth the salt is going to grab some of there. Because they know what's coming. They know some attack is going to take place in the arm, whether it's on the elbow, the shoulder, the wrist, whatever. So they're going to grab. Like I said, what we want to make sure is that if he turns anyway, he's to his knees. So he offers us the back, an increased physiology in our favour, because now we're on his back. So he's still crap. Maybe we'll leave alone what we're doing, but we're still in our favour. That's what we want. So we can do techniques. I don't want him bringing this through there to the floor on this side. And if I just hold on like this, he can do that. What this does is it prevents him from doing it. Why? Because I can make his elbow do that. And if his elbow does that, he can't turn that way. Because he'll rip his own rotator cuffs out. And the shant, anybody who's had any injuries in there, they just see pathetically little muscles that were just a bad idea from the start. Once we're in this position, watch how it's held. Your hands are going to be different to mine, but the basic physiology will be the same. Hands are shit for fighting. And we have to accept it, they just are. And fingers are worse. And mine are pathetic. 
they've been great for strangling all the time I've trained this game because I've got right gnarly knackered fingers and big palms but they bend like a fanny look at that and look at that I'm saying to the lads it's like I live over a corner out hill it's just pathetic really look at that so anybody that knows any science or mechanics or any engineering can see the amount of energy that can be not lost but transferred due to the bends in my wrists so I have to get rid of that so don't use it. I use that part of my wrist. You might use it a bit higher if your wrist is stronger, or a bit lower if the crap of the mind. But I want to get rid of the fact that I've got hands on the ends of my arms. So you basically play patty cake with it. Look, that touches that on it, which touches that on me. Not this, not this. Don't do this. Get, get through. Look, th th look, further down and further through. Same here. See how far through I am? Look, I don't even use my thumbs. And I have to put this up. So to stop him turning that way, I'll lift that wrist up and straighten that arm, like I'm on the phone with you, talking and driving. Yeah, yeah. How big were that? Like that. I'm seriously like that, right? So you do this. Watch. Watch his arm. See that? So if he tries to do that move now, hold my leg if you want, hold my leg, and spin back that way. He'll not move. He can't it's locked that in place can you feel it and we're not going to wait there we're not going to be looking at him waiting for a fault to that looking how sexy it looks but we need to do that to get to the next part everybody follow yeah let me, let me do it one other lap so you can see anybody can I? so now add this to it add all this to it dirty lock that on and immediately as you kneel down do that. It's like some kung fu punch with that part of your hand. Look. I'm pushing that down and that up. I'm effectively trying to do a kimura that he won't let me do. Because if he tries to spin the other way now, you'll see how awful it is. And what I want you to do is once you've understood this, I want you to sit like this. To prove a point to yourself, I want you to sit like this. And have him hold his arm and get all. All, all room in world. So I'm not going to sit on his head, I'm not going to compress him, and I'm not going to push in his elbow. Yeah, keep nice and tight. Why? It don't work like that. But watch. If he wants to go this way, I lift that up so he can't turn to me. And if he wants to roll to his knees, I pull it back at this angle so he can't roll. And he holds there and I go like that. And I said to him, try and roll out of that. Go on. Go on, you fanny. Go on. Go on. Like a rudder on a boat, can you feel it? I'm set up floor, and I ain't strong anymore, I'm getting old. Can everybody sort of see what happening? Don't do that to start with unless you've already done this. Get used to sitting here, like that, and keeping him off the floor here. Look. Keep him, even if he's, even if you make him grab, because he spazzes it up for you. Like that. Just turn him that way. See what? Turn him that way. So he can't get back that way. Almost like you're forcing him to be strong. Is that okay? He's following what I'm saying, yeah? I don't know I talk too shy. Yeah, have a go at it. I mean, how are you going on with this one? 